I'm so sorry. You're being asked to choose between the brother you adore and the man who's come to mean so much to you. No, Daddy, it's more than that. Eric proposed. He wants life with me, Daddy. And you want one with him? I feel I can make him happy. I already do. He's like, he's like a new man since we've been together. And, and now that he has his company, I mean, he's, he's designing the best line of his career. Because of your support. Something that Stephanie never gave him. And I know that she's just belittled him and, and wore him down and, and it'll happen again. I mean, that's what I can't bear. Sweetheart, even if you break it off with Eric, it doesn't mean he's going to go back to her. I know. I know, but that's what his family wants, and, and she will use that to pressure him even more. He won't stand a chance. I mean, am I just supposed to look at him and, and tell him it's over? And I know that's his fate. I mean, thinking about it just tears my heart to shreds, Dad. Now Storm won't be in prison, but Eric will be in a worse prison. Time's up, Lily. No, one, one more minute. One more minute. Now, please. Honey, honey, just do what your heart tells you. There's no right or wrong, okay? And just remember that I love you. to have my head examined for believing Bridget. She lied to me. She led me to believe that whole lab thing was an accident. It was an accident. It makes me sick. Really, the two of them were in the whole thing together. Brooke was asking Bridget to help her switch the eggs. Bridget would never do that. Brooke would never ask her to. Oh, please. She has, and she would do anything to get her way. And she would use Bridget, her own daughter. She would do that, and she got away. She has your baby. Jack is our child. Legally and in every other way. Brooke has moved on to Forrester. She's engaged to the guy. That's exactly what I'm saying. You told me that she started doing this when her and Ridge were on the rocks. All right? So guess what? When it happens again, it's exactly what she's going to do. She's going to come straight here, and she's going to remind you that the two of you have a child together. She's covered all of her bases. That's what she does. It's like a game of chess to her, and she likes to do this to mess with my mind. I love you. You are my future. I'm going to ask you to be patient, stay calm, strong, and committed. Okay, when you can tell me how I can do that when her biology is upstairs in the nursery. Really, look at that. She's insinuated her, her presence in our home. Now, she knew exactly what she was doing. She knew. Man, I hate her. I hate her. This is our home, our marriage, our life, and our son. I'm going to ask you to be patient, stay calm, strong, and committed. 
Okay, when you can tell me how I can do that when her biology is upstairs in the nursery. Really, look at that. She's insinuated her, her presence in our home. Now, she knew exactly what she was doing. This is our home, our marriage, our life, our son. I am your husband. And my life would mean nothing without you in it. Nothing. I just made some fresh tea, or would you prefer something stronger? Oh, all righty. Let's just dispense with the uh, niceties and get right to the point. Your brother shot me, so he's going to end up in prison. I, on the other hand, am prepared to go to the police, make a statement, and get your father set free. Your brother's name doesn't even have to come into this. That will leave your family intact. In return, I want you to leave my family intact. I want you to walk away from Eric and leave absolutely no doubt in his mind that it's over between the two of you. Is that clear? Perfectly. If I give in to your blackmail, which I haven't. It isn't blackmail. I believe it's properly called a quid pro quo. You get your brother's freedom. In return, I get Eric. No. You are doing what you always do. Toying with people's lives. Meanwhile, the kindest, most dearest man is forced to come back to this mausoleum and share it with a bitter, angry woman like you. Talk about a fate worse than death. But that's what Eric was when we first started going out, part of the walking dead. No drive, no passion, no enthusiasm for life. Being married to you sucked the very soul out of him. But I helped him find himself again. Got his company back. Made him realize the future could be wonderful without a shrew like you dictating his every move. What you're trying to do right now with me. You think you can use your strong arm tactics and push me around? That I'm just some dumb sex kitten that'll cave into your pressure? Well, I'm not caving. I'm not going to send Eric back to the shell of existence that he had with you. Because I love him too much. So you can take your quid pro quo and shove it. Because Eric's mine and he will remain mine. There's nothing you can do about it, Stephanie. Not one. Not one. 